Hello, I'm Judge Penny Wolfgang. A legendary destination for many in Western New York at this time of year is the Broadway market. What is the future for this landmark? That and more on our special holiday weekend show, right here, right now, on The Big Picture. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. You and your family may have joined the thousands of people who visited the Broadway market this past week to pick up all your holiday foods. I recently visited to savor the flavor and find out what the future holds for this landmark destination. talking to Kathy Peterson. She's the executive director and has been for the last 10 years of the Broadway market. What are some of the traditions that bring people back here year after year at this Easter season? Sure. Um, well, it is our Easter tradition at the Broadway market. So families come back who've come with their grandparents or their parents over the years, and then now we're bringing their children. So it's absolutely all about tradition at the Broadway market, certainly during Easter and actually all year long. What do they specifically come for? What are the favorite things that people come for? Oh, well, the number one thing is Polish sausage, um, your butter lamb. Um, pussy willows, Easter plants, your baked goods, Plotsek, and Easter breads. Those are really the big items that will be in the Easter basket on Saturday for a blessing. And then there's lots of other goodies, and of course the Easter Bunny is here as well. Are uh, there some vendors that come back, or uh, sponsors, or people that come back year after year? Yes, there's um, a lot of our Easter vendors who come in for the two weeks come every year. Um, Krishiki Bakery is here this year, Missouri's Bakery, Gino's Italian Bakery, Blue Eyed Baker, they come back every year. Um, uh, the Paragon and Company is here, so a lot of our vendors come back every year. Do they tell you purposely to talk about the bakeries because that's my favorite food? Is that what happens? <laughs> yes, it's everybody's favorite food. Okay, okay. Uh, talk about the uh, plans for the Broadway market. Are there plans for the future for expanding, changing, improving? Yes, absolutely. Matter of fact, we have information out today on the upcoming renovations. Um, but uh, so, as you may know, Governor Hochul gave the city, uh, gave New York State 40, 40 million dollars for improvements to the Broadway market. There is a business plan. There is a new board of directors. So it will start, you know, it's all um, having your contractor and your architects in place, but over the next year to four years, you'll see um, big improvements to the market. And how is the city involved? The city's involved as they own the building. It's a city of Buffalo building. They also have kept up with renovations over the years as they've maintained the market. So they will continue as owners of the Broadway market. And what are the plans, I guess, this is the big picture. Uh, how are you going to get people to come to the Broadway market other than Easter and Christmas? Well, I think one thing you'll see is the exterior being renovated. Uh, they want to have it much more interesting looking, so it'll pop more when you drive by, um, with possibly a farmer's market out in front during the summer tables, restaurants in front of the market, so it'll look more interesting to come in, and then the interior will be renovated to pull more. The key is bringing in more vendors, and that'll bring people year-round. And what about security? Are there plans for, you know, all year round for security? Or? Security now all year round. Um, we have uh, the City of Buffalo subcontracts with a security company. So they're here all year long. We also have a Buffalo Police Department substation in the front of the market. Do you recognize some of the people that come back year after year? Yes, especially when their children are older. <laughs> Everybody's getting older. Yes, oh sure, everybody. Um, it's just great to see everybody come back every Easter. Everybody has a good time. We have music every day. Today, um, on Saturday, is the final day for the Easter season. We actually open at 6 a.m. and close at 5. So the Easter Bunny will be here at 8 a.m. We have music. We have Buffalo Touch Polka Band performing. 
and then we wind down at 5 p.m., close for Easter Sunday, reopen for Dingus Day. Oh, and what are people buying for Dingus Day? Let me guess. Red shirts <laughs> and pussy willows. Hey, I was going to guess pussy willows yes, for sure. Pussy willows and a lot of red t-shirts for Dingus Day. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Oh, sure. Great to see you. Hi, what's your name? Jerry. Jerry, do you come here often all, every year? Several times a year, particularly for situations like this where it's so festive. Do you like, what is it you like, the music? Oh yeah, the music is just priceless. You can't go anywhere else. And what about the food? What do you like? Chocolate bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, more chocolate. That's good enough. No peeps, thank you. <laughs> Jerry, do you live nearby? Yeah, North Buffalo, off of Hurdle Avenue, so 10 minutes away. And is this a tradition for you, particularly at this time of year? Yeah, this time of year and other times of year as well. Oh, Christmas time is wonderful. But this is peak season right now. This is the most popular time of year for the Broadway market, so just so glad that it's still here like it's been for decades and decades and decades. Still going strong, so yeah. Can't go wrong. Have fun. Thanks, you too. Hi, Dylan from our favorite bakery that has her own show on WBBZ and we love so much. Is this your first time here at the Broadway Market? No, so actually this is just our first time back in a couple of years. We were here before COVID and before that we were here since well into the 70s because Cheeky Bakery has been a part of the Broadway market for well over 30 years now. We've got many items. We're selling a lot of our favorite items here this week at the Broadway market. We've got rye bread, we've got Plotzik, Kristiki, everything you can need. What are the most uh, well-known and popular items? Well, obviously our Plotzik, our Kristiki. We also have poppy seed rolls. We're going to be selling, uh, we have our braided challah bread. Um, Old-fashioned cupcakes are a staple. We still have those and just lots of other sweet treats. Have you seen changes in, since before COVID and now as far as the market goes? I would definitely say there's been a lot of changes. Um, more new vendors, we've had some of the old vendors definitely staying, and a lot more people. It's definitely been cleaned up a little bit. Things are going well, and it's been busy. And are you going to stay after the Broadway market, uh, stay after the holiday, or come back at any time, like Christmas, or just not at all? So I definitely think we're still in the works on all of that with the uh, manager here and with Anya, of course. But as her son, I've been trying to convince her we want to be here a little more. So I think you'll be seeing a little bit more of us back at the Broadway market. Yeah. I'm sure they'll look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited. Happy Easter. OK, what brings you here from Miami, Florida? I came up here to have Easter with family. I have some family members that live here. And I'm having trouble with the cold weather. But they say it's nice because it's like 47 degrees. And I had to visit this Broadway market, first time here. And this is fantastic. It's amazing. I'm Italian. There's a lot of Polish people here and Polish venues. But guess what? The food and the people, it, they're, it's amazing. But don't tell anyone I'm a Miami Dolphin fan, please. No, I, we won't use this. We won't be able to use this if you tell them that. You know what? Isn't it? I bet they don't have anything like the Broadway market in Miami, Florida. Absolutely not. We have some farmers markets, small little venues that uh, various cities put out. And this, this is, place is amazing. And there's nothing like this Broadway market. I've been, only, been here for only a half hour, and I probably even uh, haven't, seen, I haven't seen everything, obviously. And I'm enjoying myself. I really am. Well, we're enjoying having you here. It makes us feel good that somebody comes from far away and appreciates this. Will you tell all your friends? Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. And tell everyone. When they come up to the Buffalo area, come on and visit the Broadway Market. We're going to use this for a commercial. The market is such an exciting place this time of year. We will return there after this break.